Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how you can use structures in C++. And I have shown you this example that how you can define a structure for a book and how you can use or call the structure inside your main program and how you can assign values to your structures member. Right? Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use structure as an argument to the function. So in normal program, we are able to pass some argument like int or characters or double or float values. And I have already told you in the last video that structure is a user defined data type like int like char these char and int and char and int are the c++ uh, data type and this book for example which you have defined in the last video is a user defined data type which we have created now in order to use this structure book inside a function as an argument you need to pass it like a structure so let's see how we can uh, use this structure as an argument inside a function now in order if, if you don't know what this code is just see the last video i'm using the code from the last video in this video also okay and in this with in the last video we had defined the structure and i have shown you how you can use it now for example we want to define a function to print the content of the book okay so i will define a function called void print book and i will just give this and i will give this not this but this parenthesis here now in order to pass your book structure in uh, the function as an argument what you need to do is once again you need to go here in the parenthesis and you need to call the this keyword called struct and then you need to call the data type or the, the structure name which is book in our case right and then just give any name to your book structure so i will name it as book itself and then what this book is doing is it this book i am i will use to print the name or name contained by this book variable so i will just copy it and paste it here as you remember how we can uh, we can call the content of the book by its members so book this is the na variable name dot what is the member name of this book structure book name author and id okay so i will just use this book in order to print the book name book author and book id now this is just simply you need to pass in order to call this book variable inside this pair this type inside this function as a parameter or argument right now in order to call this print function what you need to do is just copy this function name paste it here and as a normal variable uh, how you pass your no normal variable as uh, variable inside this function like this right so think of it if it's a uh, integer variable and this will be a uh, integer variable simply you will pass any number here okay or the variable which contains the number in a similar way we will pass this variable of book because we have defined this book data type here for this book right so this is this book we can pass it inside the function and now when we compile the program and run the program it will work fine right 
it's printing whatever we have assigned here. So we have assigned book name C++, book author, programming knowledge, book ID 1. And then we are calling this function to print the value book 1 name. Book 1 name is book 1, book dot name, right? So we have passed this and book dot name is C++ tutorial, which is, which comes from here, right? So in this way you can pass structure variable as a parameter to a function. I hope you understood the concept behind it and I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please wait, comment and subscribe and bye for now.